there's a fast food place in every other vlog. It's hard to compete with 99 cent double cheeseburgers and fries. We fail to communicate to people about good nutrition. When we started getting a lot of the technology, we started seeing kids that were overweight. It's a big problem in the border communities where it's the accepted norm to be overweight. It's going to be a battle the rest of mankind because of the sedentary lifestyles that our society has these days. We want to love our children and we want to indulge our children, but we don't want to hurt our children. We're loving them too much. El Paso's Glen Cove Elementary School has many kids who come from families who don't have healthy lifestyles. When you have people that are passionate about helping these kids, we're going to affect some change with these children. All right, I love the sound of exercising kids. Good job, keep it up. And with our CATCH program here at Glen Cove, CATCH stands for Coordinated Approach to Child Health. That's where everybody is working together. CATCH is wonderful because it lets them see how important exercise is. Before we started CATCH, when they did the study on our children, they found them to be the most overweight and obese kids in Texas. And over the eight years, you know, we've been able to see the progress of the CATCH program. Ooh, this is a very healthy food. This is a go food, and apple's very healthy. The school really is the front line for battling obesity with children. Low, dribble low, bend your knees, use those fingertips. We see them every day, so we can really make an impact on their lives. But without the backup of the family, without changing the values the families have, or without changing their ideas about nutrition and health, it's not going to be successful parents, teachers, the administration, PE teachers, everyone is working together to try to produce a healthy child. My name is Jezebel Martinez and I'm 12 years old. I know my mom is really worried about me. If I don't take care of myself more, then I might get diabetes. Jezebel comes from a family that has type 2 diabetes in her family and her mom, her dad are a little concerned about her possibly having that disease. Hi Jezebel, how are you? When I went to see Nurse Almore, she told me that I have some signs of diabetes and that really scared me. And we check uh, for something called acanthosis and that's a dark mark on your neck. Uh, do you have anybody in your family that has diabetes? Mm -hmm. Who has diabetes? My grandpa. Ten years ago, we probably would not have screened Jezebel for type 2 diabetes. I mean, that child would have just come through the system, not ever been screened. What would have happened if I get diabetes? Some people uh, that have had diabetes a long time uh, have problems with their vision. They have problems with their circulation. They have problems with their heart. I don't think that children take diabetes seriously. They think this is something grandma or grandpa get. They don't think that it can happen to them. Our nurse has worked closely with the family, making sure that you know the family is changing their habits so Jezebel does not succumb to the same fate as her grandfather. I think it's a hard part you know, to change the food, to change the habits. Hi, my name is Emily Sanchez, and I'm a sixth grader here at Glen Cove Elementary. What Coach Avalos teaches us is that if we eat the right food and exercise, that we won't get as sick as often, and we can live longer. I gotta have a few cookies and a glass of milk, but I, I try to make sure that I'm having like skim milk instead of whole milk. Well, we have Emily Sanchez that uh, has been in the catch program since she was in kindergarten. It's affected her positively as well as her family. Okay, we just left school and we're passing our first fast food restaurant, which is Kentucky Fried Chicken. And there's six or seven more that we're gonna pass on our way. Once you get used to not eating them that much, it's get, it gets easier, but it still is a little hard to look at them on our way home. I'm a single mom, uh, raising two children on my own, so it is tough to balance home life and work life, and sometimes their nutrition can be compromised. You know, we place our hopes on these parents that they're going to feed these kids healthy meals and, and make wise choices at home. It does surprise me that Emily enjoys eating healthy. The both of them, both my children, I'm fortunate that prefer to grab an apple opposed to a piece of candy. She proves to us that children are concerned about their health. They want to look good, they want to look healthy. Oh, I one is the best for my daughter and 
I'm gonna try my best to cook healthy. I'm trying, I'm trying. Jezebel is at a very important crossroads in her life right now. The prognosis for her, I think, is excellent because she likes athletics, she's interested in taking care of her health, and she's got the support of her family. Go, 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 Jason, get the ball, get the ball, come on. This is the time for kids to not have to worry about things like diabetes. They should be worrying about if they're gonna make the volleyball team. Many times our children who are overweight do not have learning as their priority. Social acceptance becomes the first problem that they have to deal with. Like they say, sound body, sound mind. And here at Glen Cove, we have quantifiable results of how the catch program has affected these kids. Our kids are leaner, they're making wiser food choices, they're more active, they're active at home, and then also our scores are up. We've noticed that children that bring in water and healthy snacks that they become productive learners, that they're eager to learn, they're not slouchy, they're not tired. So with the CATCH program, it's helped on tax scores, any other benchmark assessments, we've seen an improvement over the years. They understand what a food that is good for you, that is loaded with vitamins and minerals. Do you think this would be a good snack for you to take home and show your parents about? Yes! Yeah. You go to a birthday party and there's cake and ice cream. What is that? Oh. You can. That's a woe food. I just try to affect the kids that I can affect and hopefully as they get older they're going to become healthier adults. I promise to be more healthy. I want to help my mom become more healthy and my mom also inspires me to be healthy. We lean on each other for everything. This is just part of it, but it's an important part. From El Paso, Texas, at Glen Cove Elementary School, we want you to know that we are... Radio Love Kids!